Another fine, small, little, successful day at the project. I, uh, <laughs> I got the horn mounted on the passenger side today, so I'm really happy about that. Yeah, I've been waiting for that in the mail. It finally came, and I was able to get out here and make some time to get it installed, and thankfully I didn't fall off the ladder while I was trying to put it together, so, yeah, it all worked out really well. Uh, so just you know keep on picking away at her I threw some diesel clean in her this morning and uh, ran her for about 15 minutes or so and I was really surprised the difference actually um, I mean there was a lot less smoke uh, just within about five to ten minutes of it circulating through and I just hope it's cleaning up my injectors a little bit better and giving everything a proper wash uh, I think this week I'm gonna order the other stack for the driver's side and it's gonna be a shorter um, it's gonna be a shorter stack I'm gonna have to get a short um, same length as that one I might cut that flat uh, I'm still debating whether I want that flat or if I want to miter it off 45 degree miter and here I'm just sort of playing around with the uh, paint. I just wanted to see how my chassis would look black. I was originally just going to leave it red, but I like the idea of leaving the cab red, blacking out the chassis. And eventually that back that back bumper thing will come off. I'll get some regular mud flaps. Really, it's, it's going to be the same as that, but I'm going to cut that. I might keep that and just cut that back end thing off because I'm never going to need that. But uh, yeah, eventually that log trailer will be coming off there. I like how it looks. You know, I really like how it looks with the black chassis and the red cab and the red hood. I don't really want to put much more chrome on this than there already is. I'm not going to get... Yeah, I'm... The wheels, I'm debating about polishing those. That's a job and a half for somebody. I'm not going to do it. Quick little shots of uh, some satin canyon black on the uh, tow hooks there. And again, just, just testing it out. I, I want to see how this looks compared to... I like it actually compared to the old red. You know, I like I know people love that patina and I'm leaving the rest of the patina. I'm not going to I'm not going to touch this cap. I'm leaving it. But I'm going to paint the rest of the frame. This is flat on this side. Uh I had This might all both sides might be canyon black. I can't remember if it was both flat. I think both of these are flat. So yeah, this is just a tester. I'm still going to, when I eventually actually get the um, chassis saver paint, I'm going to sand all this down, wire wheel it a little bit, just get all the rough stuff off. And yeah, so exciting. I love that I got that hood mounted. I love how many people are doing these projects there with my garbage bag. Yeah. Yeah, still working on the dash. Um, I've just got a few more hoses to put in. I've got to... <sighs> trying to track down the rest of this wiring. I'm figuring it out bit by bit. But as anybody else knows, it's a small pro slow process. I can't speak. My, um, my accelerated pedal, I think I need to adjust the tensioner on it because I don't think I'm getting a proper uh, idle with it. I, I think my my idle right now is too low. And uh, if I'm if I if I'm correct about this, there goes that. This is my low and high idle switch. So yeah, I have a low idle, but it's it's very low compared to the other. So yeah, it's just, you know, those things. Ah, uh, so cracks me up. This truck was made in California. How ironic. Halifax. I might visit there someday. I'd, you know, if that plant is still uh, around, 
I'd love to come out and visit them and bring this truck out there and be like, hey guys, come check this out. Obviously, nobody who would have worked on this truck would be there. But imagine how cool it would be if they were. See, I got it. You guys notice I got a little wasp nest in there. <laughs> oh, I love it. But yeah, no, I, I would love to, uh, to take this down to the... Uh, I, I would love to meet the original people who actually worked on the assembly line putting this putting these together I mean, how cool would that be just talk to them for a few hours I love getting I love uh, hearing stories like that just everyday life from people who worked in jobs all over the country Ugh. I guess you can you can thank the uh, show little hard hats for that. Uh, <laughs> always had a fascination with big equipment. Gotta appreciate it. So yeah, still an F load of work left to be done, but we are slowly and surely getting somewhere. I'm starting to actually get some confidence on how to, uh, go about my next move here and there, so yeah, we're getting there. <laughs>